we're now going to talk about the hyperbola. Now the hyperbola, there are actually two forms for the hyperbola because hyperbolas can open in two directions. So we're going to start with x minus h quantity squared over a squared minus, notice that's different now, y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1. Still equals 1. Now on this one, Notice hyperbola has the minus in between the x squared and y squared portion. And since the x squared portion has the positive minus the y squared portion has the negative in front of it, that means this hyperbola will open to the left and right. Okay, So um, this is a little bit more complicated, so we're going to do an example right over here. This hyperbola has no h and k, so it's centered at 0, 0. So here's my center. I'll just make a little mark there. Now, again, this is similar to the ellipse. The number under the x squared is 9. So for this, a equals 3. So from the center, I'll go 1, 2, 3 left, 1, 2, 3 right. Under the y squared, I have a 4, so b equals 2. 1, 2 up, 1, 2 down. Now, this is where it's different. With these four points, I am now going to make a rectangle out of them. A box. So I just use a dotted line. This is not part of my graph. And what the piece we want from this box is we actually want the diagonals so that we and we, they extend like this. So there's my diagonals go from corner to corner through the center. And these are the guides for the hyperbola. This determines the shape. Let's make this one better. And these are called slant asymptotes. Now remember I may be saying that word wrong. So now to distinguish between all of the guidelines and the actual hyperbola, I'm going to use green. Since the x squared part was the positive part. That means it's opening in the um, x direction or to the right and left. This point is a vertex and then it I go along that lovely guide line there. It should be a little bit more curved than that. And then the same thing over here, that edge of the box, that is a vertex and now I go along my guide line, it's curved. Kind of like a parabola is curved. And there's a hyperbola. The second version of the hyperbola, the y squared portion comes first. So let me write standard form for that. It would look like y minus k, notice the k stays there, over b squared minus x minus h quantity squared over a squared equals 1. So again the center is at h and k, but don't forget h is from the x portion and the k is from the y portion. So on our example 13, uh, again we're centered at 0, 0. There's my center. The number under the x squared is 36. So a is 6, so I go to the left and right 6 spaces. The number under the y squared is 9, so b is 3. So I go up 3, and down three. And I make my box. And once I have my box, I draw the diagonals. This is works much better if you have a ruler. And now this time, since the y squared portion came first, and it's the positive portion minus the x squared portion, this hyperbola will open up and down. So now this edge of my box, that point is the vertex, and let me get my green pen. This is a very wide hyperbola. It comes way out along those dotted lines. And now the other vertex is down here, way out. And there is my hyperbola. So now I will leave you guys to finish numbers 
14 and 15 on your own.